welcome back to my channel so i took a little bit of a break from vlogging for a couple of reasons um i think if you follow me on instagram the most obvious reason would have been because my nana was in hospital she had a fall and she actually broke quite a few bones uh, she's been really lucky actually she broke her ribs her wrist and then she had another fall while she was in hospital on her shoulder um, I think she was fractured that as well. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and I was with her in A and E that night for quite a while. <laughs> while, oh fuck, I just tripped. While Eric was at home looking after Lydia, thankfully, um, I had Eric. Yeah, otherwise I don't know what I would have done. But yeah. Um, and then since then she was in hospital for two and a half weeks, and I just visited her pretty much every afternoon apart from when Lydia had her live vaccines then I couldn't visit her because Lydia had had a vaccine um so I was with her but yeah it's just been one of those um one of those moments where naturally I didn't want to vlog because I was busy seeing my nana and had other things on my mind I didn't even think about picking up the camera and then um and then like a couple of other things are just that I've been feeling a bit like burnt out I guess and also run down, I got an ear infection, probably from all the stress of <laughs> everything that was happening. Because meanwhile, all this is going on, um, we were, well, we sold our house now, it's sold subject to contract, and now we're, like, trying to look at other houses, and it's just been really difficult. Um, it's been a really difficult time, but um, my nana is home, thankfully. She's on the mend, she's doing much better. And our house is sold subject to contract, and we're basically, like, looking at houses more seriously and hoping for the best we put an offer down on one house and then we got rejected because someone else offered higher and it's just i think it's just like a little bit draining because you find a house that you really like and then you don't get it but you just keep trying keep going for a house that you like and keep hoping that one comes up that you absolutely love um anyway so i'm gonna vlog today I do have quite a nice package downstairs from Love Every, so this video is going to be an ad. And as soon as I get downstairs, we're going to open it and do a little toy swap for Lydia's toys. Because I've actually been waiting to open it for this video. Because I wanted to get like a, um, a reaction, I guess, because it looks like it's going to be a really, really good one. Um, so this is obviously an ad with Love Every because they kindly gifted it to us. There we go. I think this is as alive as I'm going to get today. However, I am going to change my pants because I actually feel like it's a little bit bit hot for grey joggers. So I'm going to put something a bit thinner on. Why is my coat? Hi! No, <laughs> oh, come on. Do your hair. That's right. But not yet. Mm -hmm. Look, there's the sun. Hot, hot. This is still the wind is blowing the new day. You ready to open it, Lydia? Should we open the box? It says the babbler. So this one is for 13, 14, and 15 months, which Lydia is nearly 13 months now. To be honest, I feel like she's probably ready for this anyway. So let's crack it open and start going through the toys and um, decide on which of her toys that are already on the shelf are going to go away for a little bit. Oh. This box is a little bit bigger than the last one, isn't it? Got a few things in here. What's this, Lydia? There's a child. <gasps> There's another child. They're smiling. No, me there. Put it back in. Oh. Got this. That you can put different things in, got carrots. We can make it into 
a money box to slot. Look. Can go. Oh, can put it in? You're so close. Oh, well done. This is quite cool because it comes with um, different tops. Oh, Lydia. Got a little bag here. Can you pull it out? What is it? Oh, can you get it? <gasps> a bunny rabbit. A bunny rabbit. Hop, 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 hop. Is there another one? Can you get it? A bunny rabbit. You've got two bunny rabbits. Can you put it back in? Daisy's definitely eyeing them up. Daisy, go lay down. Can we put it down there for now? Oh. What's going to go on this? There we go. So I think that's what this is for, and I like it because it's got the ones where you know if she was to fall and land on like a pole, it wouldn't um wouldn't hurt her. But I think that's what this one's for. You do come with um it does come with like a big booklet that tells you what all the different toys are and what you do with them. But I think you're supposed to put like one of each colour in here. But I think she's going to enjoy that because she does like stacking things at the minute. Have you found a book? <laughs> she's just pulled this book out. So Lydia loves books. They're like her favourite toy ever, really. And she just sits and reads them for ages sometimes. So I think she's definitely going to enjoy this. Anything else left in the box? We've got this. This is quite a big toy, isn't it? I think it comes with some balls. Wow. Oh, it's got like a little peephole for our hand here. Yeah. Different types of openings, basically, for her to practice with. Did you want to put the ball down? Yeah? Can you put it in? In the top, yeah? Maybe you should stand up. Wow! Oh, go on, open it. <gasps> is the ball in there? There it is. Well, I suppose you can just put your hand in there. What about this one? Is it in there? There it is. Shall I put this down so you can play with it? And then maybe you can start packing away everything it also comes with this uh clear guide which basically um it's particularly good for parents that kind of don't really know what they can be doing with their child to help further further their development i think obviously a lot of it's instinct a lot of people know that but sometimes it's good to just have something that actually tells you what to do <laughs> so yeah this basically goes through um various different daily things that you can do with your children like ice cube on a tray it says there, finger painting, we actually haven't really been painting yet so I might have to get paints out at some point. And then at the very very front it does tell you what's in this box, so yeah, cute bunnies. Up the bunnies! Oh that's Morrison's. Is it actually? Yeah. Oh I wanted to swap these over. Well. So this is our current toy corner. Um, you can actually see we've still got a couple of Love Every Bits out already, which I actually think I'm still going to keep because she does enjoy them. She loves this animal book and she does all the sounds for the animals, apart from a couple of them, like ants and ladybirds, because I don't really know what noises they do. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to keep them out and I think I'm going to keep the baby out because she does really like that. Um, but yeah, we've been regularly swapping these out and we recently did a swap for her birthday where she got a lot of new toys. So we got the new birthday toys out. But yeah. I'm going to pick which stuff are going to go away for now. I think there's definitely going to be some stuff that are going to stay for a little while, like the animals. I think they might just be evergreen and just stay there forever. I think I might leave the cars out because she does love them. Um, not really sure what else at the moment. Obviously, the books stay there because she has 
board books that she likes to read. But yeah, doing a little bit of a toy swap out and then hopefully it'll be a bit more streamlined. So we've just got a mini shop delivered. So I thought I would show you what I've got. It's basically just one of those little midweek ones that sometimes you need to do when you're running out of food a bit halfway through the week. Um, oh, thank you. Are you going to help put them away? Put them away. Oh, thank you very much. That was really good reaching. It's a dinosaur. Well done. <laughs> Let mommy show what it is. I'm going to give this to Lydia, but um, basically I picked up a wash mitt for her and a new, um, I thought it was bubble bath, but it's actually a bath milk, which is fine. doesn't really matter. Um, I just like to get the sleepy ones for her, which are lavender normally. You can have that for a little bit if you want. There you go. Um, okay, so the other things we got are like, so basically fruit, because Lydia eats a lot of fruit for snacks. Um, and obviously fruit doesn't really last the whole seven days really does it, does it? so I do normally have to buy more midweek um, these are three for five pounds so I got her grapes raspberries blueberries this week I've got some hummus um, and I also got some little peppers and some falafel and flatbread to have with the hummus for dinner times oh, are you trying to put it back up thank you is that where it goes thank you very much um, I've got some yogurt for me and Eric um, Eric likes to have these with apple <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, two seconds then. I'm now doing this one-handed because I've got a child in my arms. <laughs> um, I got some more kitchen cleaner because ours is running low and washing up liquid because again, ours is running low. Um, we don't actually usually get fairy. I normally get cheaper brands or like own brands, but it was actually an offer for this big one. So I got it. Sponges for the washing because we're running low. Um, I got Lydia a couple of snacky bits. So I got these Kittylicious Free Bakes, which she's never had before. So I wanted to try her with them. And then these, there you go, I went down. Uh, these little, oh, I don't know if you heard that, but my knee just cracked really loudly when I stood back up. You can tell I'm in my 30s. <laughs> um, got these Farm Animal Biscuits. Again, she's not had these before, but I do like to try and give her a variety of things. Because sometimes it does feel like I'm just giving her grapes and blueberries all the time and yeah got some bread garlic and milk and i don't i don't know if i said the cheese triangles but I, i'm saying it now just in case and this is just our little midweek shop i also got two jumbo packets of nappies <laughs> she's in size five pampas um and i think they were on an offer for two jumbo packs for 20 pound but they have gone upstairs already i think with eric um yeah so i'm gonna put all of this away didn't toy sort out and already she's uh, pulling loads out. Oh, I'm gonna cuddle. Okay, I'm gonna have a cuddle. Nearly nutted us there though. And then, um, yeah, so we've done a toy switch around. I've put the shopping away that was delivered. And now it's just time to chill out a little bit, isn't it? What do you want to play with? What would you like? You want a snack? Just in case you missed it there, she signs for snack and then she walks over to the kitchen. What would you like? Do you want a snack? Yeah. Did you not eat, eat much breakfast? I didn't do breakfast with that, Eric did. Um, and we just kind of let her let us know if she's hungry because, you know, we're trying to work on intuitive eating. Oh, there's a birthday banner still up there. <laughs> it, was, it, was, um, it was Eric's birthday last week. Um, and we had, we hired a hot tub from a really local company. I'll leave them linked down below because they were really good. And now I'm getting you a snack. Beep, beep, let me through. Beep, beep. And maybe some blueberries. Just a, maybe three or four of those because they are not super healthy, are they? And do you want some bloobs? Ready? 
So you like blueberries, don't you? I'll just have to smush them down a bit. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Eric's birthday. We hired a hot tub. Really recommend it. We paid 100 quid for four days, but he actually accidentally dropped it off a day early by accident and he said, oh, it's fine. Have it for the extra day. So, I know, do you want one now, yeah? Yeah, I have this one. Um, so we actually got an extra day for free by accident. It was fab. We loved it. Um, we also had a barbecue on the Sunday, which was cute. We had friends over. I think that's enough blueberries for now, Lydia. Feed my child quickly before she starts getting hangry. Are you going to let me in? You're closing the gate on me. Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> this child absolutely loves food, I swear. Right, you're going to sit in your bum. Do you want me to put it here? It's a week. I keep losing my train of thought because I keep getting distracted. What was I talking about? We're going to go view a house at quarter past 11 and then Lydia's going to go down for a nap and then pretty much as soon as she wakes up we've got another viewing at another house. But it's okay because they're both like very close to us and they're both in a similar area so it should only take about 10 minutes to get there. Um, And I'm excited actually to view them. I hope I like them. Lydia's just gone in the corner to eat a little biscuit now. <laughs> is it nice, is it? You like your snacks, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so, we've been and done some viewings. Do another raspberry. We've been and done some viewings today. I didn't film because it just didn't feel appropriate. <laughs> because it's in someone else's house. Um, we... I thought the one this morning was okay, but it just wasn't for us. It basically just needed a bit more work than anticipated. Um, so we just weren't willing to like offer at this time to another raspberry. Um, and um, the second house we've just viewed this afternoon. Would you want more raspberry? I'm gonna have to cut you some more for dinner, Rana. Um, the second house we've viewed this afternoon, we actually really liked. It does need work, but it has a lot of potential and it's in quite a good area for us in terms of like um schools and transport park things like that um yeah so we've actually put an offer down we did under offer because we did notice some mold um so that's something that we are potentially gonna have to you know get fixed um that could well obviously not potentially gonna have to get fixed that we will have to get fixed but it potentially might cost a lot more money than we anticipate so can you stop putting them in the drain board please um yes yeah, so we've actually put an offer on and hopefully this is gonna work out okay this is a, a child knife by the way just in case you're wondering what lydia's got it's not gonna hurt her like it literally can't hurt her <laughs> no it's to cut cut pepper i know mommy shouldn't have put that on her hand should she like that cut the pepper cut the pepper we just got Lydia's dinner in the oven at the minute. We're just doing a little uh, dippy plate with some hummus, some raspberry, um, some flatbread, some falafel and pepper. And hopefully you like it. Do you want to eat some of this pepper? Eat it. I'm going to eat it up. I'm going to throw it on the floor. Okay. It's raw, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> is it nice? <laughs> Anyway, uh, we're going to have dinner and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Say bye bye. Bye. <laughs>
wondering why I look like this. I'm having a bit of a break from makeup today because. Okay, there you go. I'm having a bit of a break from makeup today. Down. Okay. Because I'm having a bit of a break out on my skin, so I thought I'd make sure I give my skin some room to breathe today. I'm just catching up on chores today, to be honest. I'm just. Got loads of washing on, got washing outside drying now and I've got another load in. I've got some cleaning up to do. Um, so it's a pretty normal parent day, to be honest. Um, we, hello. Probably just gonna play in the garden this afternoon, aren't we? While mummy tries to tidy up the garden. Can I have that pepper back? Cause you can't really take that in the living room, can you? Let mummy have it. And yeah, so I thought I would just catch you guys up on what's happening. The kitchen's looking really messy, to be honest, because there's just like shoes all over the floor, a coat on the floor randomly over there, and just everything's a little bit <laughs> not tidy, I guess. What have you got? You got the bunny rabbit? Oh, putting it in your shoe. Mammy needs to hoover in here, doesn't she? There's sand over there. What are you doing? You're putting the bunny in your shoe? Oh dear. <laughs> Good morning everyone, so we kind of skipped a day and a half. <laughs> it's now Sunday and thank you. Our food shop has just come. Um, I know it feels like I've just done a food shop in this video, <laughs> but we don't do like one big food shop anymore. We actually pay for a delivery pass. That means we get unlimited deliveries any time of the week with Morrison's. Um, so instead of doing one big food shop, I now do two smaller shops. Normally around like a Wednesday or a Thursday and then a Sunday or a Monday. Um, mainly because Lydia eats a lot of like fresh foods like fruit and things like that. And they go off. So uh, instead of buying a lot. <laughs> she's just climbed up there. Instead of buying just a lot of fruit once a week and then it all goes off halfway through. Um, I kind of just like do little shops instead. So that nothing, like everything gets used that way. And we're not being wasteful. Um, sometimes I can't, sometimes I, I kind of forget that we're doing that um, and I'll forget to do the midweek shop and then I end up having to do a click and collect because there was no delivery shops left. But that's fine because also they're included in our delivery pass. So what are you doing over there? Eh? Jump down. Yeah? Anyway, um, we're having a barbecue so we've got quite a lot of like bread buns and stuff because Eric's family is coming over. Um, are you going to help me put things away? How are you going to do that from up there? Um, I'm not going to show you everything again. Am I going to show you everything again? Maybe I will. I've got some Rocky bars to kind of fill up the cupboard. I've got two packets of these. I think these are for the sausages. I've got three packets of these. Um, these are the best brioche buns. Personally, I prefer brioche buns when it comes to barbecues and burgers. Um, so that's what we've got another milk um i tend to get the seven day milk because we don't use enough of it to use like that much in three days for it to, before it goes off got lydia's big kids milk that has added vitamins in it. it's got vitamin a vitamin d and iron so i don't know i just get it and it, these are two for four pound anyway so it's all good i've got a fruit platter this, this is to have with the barbecue for lydia and anyone else that would want some Mozzarella and cheddar, so we're actually gonna make pizzas later in the week. Some cheese for the burgers. Um, mixed peppers, because I think we're gonna have the heat as one night. These are the burgers that I got. Um, they actually have a burger and bun deal on, so you can get a packet of burgers and a packet of buns for a fiver. So, got a few of the burgers for people. Um, and then I also got some sausages i've got a couple of types one's the pork and caramelized onion and one's the bramley apple ones a couple of options there for people some chicken breast this is to have with the pizzas did i only get eight fingers actually that should be fine because we've got one vegetarian coming so that should be absolutely fine um, I've got some pasta. The last time we had a barbecue last Sunday, actually, which was with friends for Eric's birthday, I got some of this tomato pasta and Lydia really liked it. Because obviously she doesn't really eat burgers and sausages. They're a bit like too chewy. Well, she'll have a little bit, but they're a bit too chewy and they don't really fill her up. So I thought I'd give her some of this pasta again because she actually really enjoyed it. And the pasta was on a deal. I can't remember the exact price, but it was two for something. 
maybe in two for four pound. Um, so I got the coronation chicken pasta as well, and I can just keep that in the fridge for a couple of days, and she can have that for dinners, I guess. Got some mini Philadelphias. Because sometimes when I buy like a whole cream cheese, we don't use it because she'll only have it like once or twice a week. So I got those mini ones. I thought they'd be less wasteful. Some salad to have with the barbecue. Great. The fruit I try to get from Morrison's is always like on a deal. What is it? It's like three for. It might be three for five pound or six pound or something like that. Oh, it's here, isn't it? <laughs> three for five pounds. I always get grapes pretty much every single week. Got some satsumas and some avocado because she quite enjoys avocado. So I've got some of that. This has been subbed. This was meant to be a beef tomato so I could slice it up into big slices for the barbecue, but it got subbed for baby tomatoes, which is fine. I'll make it work. from over there Mrs. Got our weekly bread. This is pretty much the bread that we get every single week. Occasionally I might get something like a bloomer but um, yeah I always get the best of both by Holvis. Um, pizza bases. Like I said we're going to have pizza later in the week. Some tortillas for the fajitas. Um, got some veggie burgers for Eric's mom because she's veggie and some veggie sausages again anyone can eat these as well I know that one person's not going to eat <laughs> all these sausages but Lydia can probably have some I'll probably have some I think I might be missing a packet of burgers you know I've got some ice lollies because it's been nice weather so I've got them and them ones these are the sprinkle ones I think they're meant to be like knobbly bobblies and these are just bubblegum ones Oh my goodness, everything's fallen. Uh, I've got some scampi, scampi to keep in the freezer. It's always good to keep a few freezer bits, really. This is the pizza sauce I got. Um, sometimes we've made our own in the past, like just with tin tomatoes and um, oregano and stuff. But I thought I'd just get this this time. It's a bit easier. Mushy peas to have with the scampi. Uh, sweet corn for Lydia mostly because she likes sweet corn. Some more eggs. Um, pretty much get the same eggs all the time. Sometimes I get the bigger packet. It depends what we're making that week. Um, and some red onions. Some for the barbecue, some to cook with. Yeah, I think we're missing a packet of burgers. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check the order. Anyway, I'm going to put all this away. Then, this little lady and us, me and dad, we're going out to um, a little event that we're, uh, we, we've got this like play cafe that we go to quite often actually, they're called Little Acorns in Newcastle and they're doing like a special event today and it, they've called it Little Kingdom, um, obviously for like copyright <laughs> reasons I think, but it's basically, we're going to meet um, yeah. Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse aren't we at this little event? Yeah. Hopefully she likes it. We've met Bluey before at a different play space and she loved it, so I hope she's gonna like that. We've been watching Mickey Mouse this morning to prep happy way. totally forgot to get videos of the event but I did get lots and lots of photos so I'll put them in now. It was a great event, we loved it and Lydia really enjoyed herself which she always does when we go to Little Acorns to be fair. Um, and now we're doing a quick tidy up of the house while she has a nap because we've got family coming over for a barbecue this afternoon which I am going to try my best to film. It's just difficult because um, people don't always like to go on social media and it's hard if there's like other kids around or other adults who don't want to be on camera and stuff like that. So. Just not so you can see um, my phone in my glasses there. Um, yes, anyway, quick tidy up, chill out a little bit before people come over. So I'm a terrible vlogger and although I said I was gonna vlog yesterday, I kind of didn't. I didn't vlog in the afternoon at all because Eric's family were here and, oh, by the way, that's the telly. <laughs> What's it called? Yet, huh? Fun and Fancy Free. Fun and Fancy Free, you like It's on Disney Plus. Um, but basically, are you giving kisses? 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> Basically, because Eric's family were here, they're not really online people, so I didn't really want to film and have them in it or whatever. So I'm going to film today. We're going back to Little Acorns, actually. We've got a play session booked. I didn't realise I had booked two days in a row, but I had, but it's fine. It's very local and Lydia enjoys it there, so I don't really mind. Um... So hopefully I'll actually fil film this time while I'm there. The barbecue was lush, by the way. The weather was like nice. It wasn't too hot, but it also wasn't cold. It was just a nice medium. And there was a bit of a breeze as well, which was lovely. Hi. You comfy? Eating her rice cakes. Even though she's just had breakfast and breast milk. She always likes to follow breakfast and breast milk with a snack. <laughs> home i've just put um a lot of washing outside lydia's down for a nap and when she wakes up we're gonna make pizzas for lunch got some ready-made pizza bases and this lloyd grossman um pizza sauce and this cheese that's mozzarella and cheddar and for toppings i thought we'd do a mixture of red onion green pepper and some baby tomatoes because they need to be used up soon so yeah we're gonna have them for dinner and i think we're actually gonna have just a chill afternoon in the house just playing and watching a bit of telly and yeah relaxing because we have had um a busy morning at the lake ones and then quite a busy day yesterday quite a social day seeing people so yeah we'll do a bit of relaxing oh <laughs> Lydia's snack from this morning is still on the table I need to bin that and wash the dish while Lydia is asleep now I've probably got another hour of her being asleep hopefully fingers crossed so I actually think I'm gonna sit and read a little book I don't often get time to sit and read recently. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Can you cut some tomatoes? a little bit later in the day i'm just about to start tea i'm really glad what i brought the washing in earlier because it's now raining and if you're wondering what this bag is it's um like balls for in a ball pit don't really have anything else to store them in so they're in a 
black bag. Anyway, I'm gonna make some fajitas for tea tonight. We have fajitas fairly often because it's a nice. I'll get you to balance. That is. Please stay up a little bit. Yeah. I'll put you down here for now. Um. Yeah. Basically, we have fajitas fairly often. It's a nice, easy meal that's fairly quick at cooking. The only thing I've just realised is that I forgot to get some salad. But we do have some peppers. Got some chicken. Got wraps and an onion. I don't really do it this in any particular way. Like I literally just bung everything in the George Foreman slicer. And the seasoning that I normally use is it here? Um. I just normally use like this kind of seasoning, just like the Schwartz one, fajita seasoning. Um, but sometimes you can get those like sachet packets instead. But because we do fajitas fairly often, it makes sense for me to have like a little container like that instead. So yeah, it kind of looks like this once it's in the George Foreman. And I basically leave it for maybe like 10 minutes, slightly longer if you, Think your chicken's a bit thicker and needs a bit more um yeah and then got fajitas got wraps um and like i say normally i would get some lettuce or some kind of salad as well but i forgot to get some um but never mind i'm gonna tidy all of this up i've made a big mess <laughs> and then we're gonna sit down for tea yeah. Good morning. So we've actually skipped a day. I need to try and find somewhere for you to go actually. Uh, we've skipped a day of vlogging because <laughs> we were actually viewing a house yesterday so I didn't see the point of vlogging yesterday. Um, but basically me and Lydia went for a little walk in the woods. I'll put pictures up. That's Eric. <laughs> I don't know why his little head is just poking in here. Yeah? Little head. Um, big head is just poking in there. Um, yeah, basically, went for a walk in the woods in the morning, I put photos up, and then in the afternoon we're reviewing a house. Um, and we're also waiting for a phone call to hear about a house that we put an offer in, but we still haven't actually heard anything yet. So, nothing to update there. Anyway, I had ordered a HelloFresh box, because it was half price, and it was meant to come yesterday. And it's really awkward, because then I got a notification at 5 o'clock saying that they had delivered it, but they, like, hadn't. There'd been no one that had even attempted to d deliver. Um... So, yeah, basically, <laughs> basically, I know that because we have cameras, so we would have seen if someone had been on the property, even if um, we were at that viewing, no one had actually been. Um, anyway, so I contacted HelloFresh and I said someone's, um, sorry, it's saying that it says that someone's tried to deliver, but they haven't, it's not delivered, it's definitely not here ever could check the side of the property in any way just in case the camera hadn't picked up but yeah no one had definitely been um and they they checked the tracking on their end and there was no photo so yeah they said that they would refund me so that was fine as far as i knew <laughs> and then literally not even joking 10 past nine at night someone knocked at the door and someone brought the hello fresh box so i feel kind of like bad that i've gotten a refund it was only 22 quid so it's not like it's loads of money but yeah, it's kind of awkward because I do have the product now. Um, but I think the box had been sat in that Gary's van like literally all day because the ice packs had like completely melted. Um, but I did check the meat and the meat was still cold and everything. So I think it should be fine. Anyway, we've got HelloFresh for the next three days. Went for these um, menu options. Got the chicken korma tray bake, which looks nice. Comes with spiced potatoes. Got the cheesy melt in the middle beef burger. Can't go wrong with a burger. And the layered creamy chicken pasta bake. I think Lydia will really like that. And Eric quite likes chicken and pasta, don't you? Mm. Whenever I make pasta just by myself, um, he always wins just that I haven't put chicken in it. So <laughs> that one comes with chicken in it. Um, anyway, I need to sort out where I'm gonna put the packets because basically the food bits come in these bags. I think I might just shove them in this corner to be fair. And then today I actually have no plans. You have a phone call at 11 for your dentist. Yes. Um, other than that, by the way, I think we should keep that box for moving. You want? It's a good box. It's nice and strong. Good box. It's a good box. Yeah, basically don't really have any plans today. Just having a chill day. Hopefully I'll actually vlog because I chronically don't vlog if we're not actually doing that much. Um, because, I don't know, I think I'm just in the habit of just getting on with my day. 
Um, anyway, Lydia's eating breakfast. If you can see her there. Daisy's eating her breakfast on the floor. And yeah, gonna have a nice chill day today. Maybe we'll go for another walk in the woods because you like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ocean animals. What's that? Da. Shark. Da. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what else is there? That's a whale. Da. And a starfish. Da. 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 What's that? Meow. 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 It's a cat. What's that? Mm. What is it? Mm. Woof. Woof. A dog. Where? Oh, the guinea pig. Is that, is that what the guinea pig does? A rabbit? What does a rabbit do? Hop, 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 hop. A fish? Fish, a bird. <laughs> All done. Oh yeah, there's a fish there. That's a zebra. A zebra. And a rabbit. That's a monkey. Ooh ooh ah ah ooh ooh ah ah. Yeah, monkey. Okay, so I'm actually going to make this one today because this one has the shortest date on the meat. So we're going to have this one today, probably the burgers tomorrow and then the coma tray bake um, the day after that. So this looks like a simple one because this is the ingredients. Unless I'm missing something that should be in the fridge or the creme fraiche maybe and the cheese. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make this now. If you want to know the recipe, feel free to pause the video and have a little look at this. But... It should be a pretty simple make because it's just um it's just pasta. <laughs> Guys, this looks absolutely delish. Look at that bubbling. Can't wait to try it. I'm gonna cool some down in the fridge for Lydia quickly because it's gonna be way too hot for her, so I'll leave ours in the dish while Lydia's cooled and then hopefully it won't be too cold for us. <laughs> <laughs> 